Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. IBM scientists have made what they call the world's smallest movie, a 90 second stop motion short made from images of atoms. The film is titled A Boy and His Atom and depicts a boy made from atoms who dances and plays with a single bouncing atom. It was made using carbon monoxide molecules, which each consist of one carbon atom and one oxygen atom, and a scanning, tunneling microscope that magnified the atoms 100 million times. A Boy and His Atom speaks not just of the magic of science, but of the magic of the movies. Watching it puts me in mind of some of the pioneering early works of cinema, like the shorts of the Lumiere brothers or Georges Méliès. Next up, researchers at the University of Michigan have developed a new thermoelectric material which converts waste heat into electricity more efficiently than ever before. The material is called P.PSS, and it's already been commercially available for a wide variety of applications. The team at UM was able to restructure the material at the nanoscale, greatly increasing its conductivity and its efficiency. The leader of the project responsible for this new material predicts that one day it will be manufactured in flexible sheets like plastic wrap that can be wrapped around hot objects to produce electricity. Finally, researchers at UC San Francisco have used cell therapy to cure epilepsy in mice. The scientists were able to halt seizures in epileptic mice using medial ganglionic eminence cells, or MGEs. The MGE cells inhibited nerve signals to the hippocampus, the area of the brain associated with seizures. MGEs are naturally formed in embryos and generate mature nerve cells called interneurons. The UCSF study found that the MGE cell therapy eliminated seizures in half the mice and significantly reduced the number of seizures in the other half. UCSF researchers also recently developed a method for generating MGE cells in the lab and are hopeful that this therapy will be effective in humans against many severe types of epilepsy for which there are currently no effective drug treatments. IBM scientists make a movie from atoms, researchers at the University of Michigan create a new and improved thermoelectric material, and scientists at UC San Francisco use cell therapy to cure epilepsy. That's the good news.